Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. graduated. <laughs> Billy Joe! Billy Joe! Hi, Mom. Well, get a move on. You gotta get dressed and eat breakfast before the cannonball gets here. Mm, I was having the most beautiful dream. There was this boy and I... Put a bookmark in your pillow and you can finish it tonight. <laughs> now get moving. And don't go back to bed. <laughs> Betty Joe? Betty Joe, are you up? Yes, ma'am. Well, hurry and get dressed. You're gonna be late for school. Gee, Mama, I don't feel so good. Oh, anything serious? It might be. My goodness, well, maybe we should have Doc Stewart take a look at you. I think so, too. Fine. You go see him this afternoon when school's out. <laughs> now, no more nonsense. Get dressed. Well, I tried. Bobby Joe! Bobby Joe! You better hurt. But you're all ready. Uh -huh, I've been up for an hour. Did you know that this was the first day of school? Well, sure. I've been looking forward to it for over a month now. You know, I wish your sisters were more like you, or you were more like them, so I could concentrate on one type of worry. <laughs> more than time. Billy! Betty! Second warning, get hustling. Come on! <laughs> Billy Joe, breakfast on the table. Did you ever have old Miss Hawks in English? Old Miss Hawks? Well, she's almost 35. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Billy Joe. Good morning. Billy Joe, what are you dressed for? Secretarial school. Oh, they're having a party the first day? <laughs> now you turn right around and get into something suitable. And take off that eye goop and those droopy eyelashes. <laughs> Mother, this is what a secretary wears. To keep the boss's mind off the fact that she doesn't know shorthand? <laughs> now skedaddle. Oh, Mother. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing the right thing sending her out into the business world. I don't think they're ready for her. <laughs> Train's here. Come on, girls. Come on, come on, come on. Well, you look a lot more sensible. Okay. Bye, Bye dear. Bye. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Bye, Uncle Joe. Bye. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> this term, do you suppose you could concentrate a little more on cooking and sewing and less on batting and fielding? <laughs> Bye. Bye, honey. Bye. Come on, Billy Joe. Betty Joe. Ooh. Well, summer's over. From now on, it's gonna be mighty lonely around here all day. 
I won't mind a little peace and quiet. Give a man a chance to think. About what? About how lonely it's going to be around here all day. <laughs> <laughs> another school term and another set of problems. Wonder what they'll be this year. to stop following me. Go back. Hi, Floyd. Charlie. Who's your friend? He followed me from school. Don't he know who he belongs to? I guess not. You know, they ain't getting as smart a group of dogs waiting outside the school as they used to. <laughs> Go back to school. Somebody's probably looking for you. Let's get going. He's a cute little rascal. Yeah, wish I could take him home. Joe home from school. Mom, I was wondering if... The answer is no. But you didn't even know what I was going to ask you. Oh, yes, I do. You can't keep the dog. One thing we don't need around this hotel is some flea-bitten hound eating us out of house and home. <laughs> He's only a little thing. He won't eat very much. Of course, he'd promise anything just to get to stay here. <laughs> He's real smart. I found out he could do all kinds of tricks. Roll over. <laughs> Any dog can do that. I'd like to see him walk on his hind legs. <laughs> Mom, look at that. Oh, Betty Joe, I admit he's smart and he's cute. But you can't keep him. He goes back on the first run of the cannonball. Why? Because wearing a collar and doing tricks, obviously he belongs to somebody. Then why did he follow me? Well, first day of school, kids rushing out. More than likely, he got confused. Yeah, getting confused is probably what he does best. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no sense of humor, either. Oh, please. I'm sorry, Betty Joe, but you got to take him back to the high school on the first run of the cannonball. Probably one of your school chums is running all over looking for him. Wouldn't it be easier if we kept him overnight and I took him to school with me tomorrow morning? The next run. Your ma's right. If we feed him and keep him overnight, we'll never be able to part with him. Uncle Joe should know. That's how we got him. Here. 
No, on this. It'll keep you busy until you're called for. So long. He didn't follow you, huh? No. He sure was cute. I've seen a lot of dogs who was cuter. Well, I ain't. He was about to... No. <laughs> no, he wasn't very cute. That's all right. He probably does belong to somebody. And I might just as well forget about him. Let's go. I didn't know he'd snuck back into the coach. Half the time you don't look back to see if the coach is coupled on. That ain't true. Half the time we do. <laughs> well, you'll just have to take him back with you. You mean leave him in front of the school all night? Oh, Mom. Well, first thing tomorrow morning, then. Why don't we keep him here? And I'll put a notice on the school bulletin board. Betty Joe, it's obvious that you're too soft-hearted to take him back. It's a job that's got to be done by the only one in this family with enough backbone not to be swayed by an appealing face and a wagon tail. I'd like to, Kate, but I'm going to be busy tomorrow. I mean me. <laughs> what are you sitting down for? We've only covered five farms. We got six or seven more to go. Somebody will claim you. Come on. What's the matter? Oh. Your feet are killing you. Well, mine are killing me, too, but I'm... Oh. Come on. <laughs> No, I didn't find out we belong to. Who, who'd claim a dog you gotta carry? You carried him? I had to. He was limping so bad. Isn't that pitiful? Mom, you brought him back. Here, boy. <laughs> He was acting. <laughs> you call that acting. It's just as good as the lumbago performance you put on when there's work to be done. <laughs> well, what are we going to name him? There's no sense in naming him. He's going back the minute anybody answers the ad I put in Sam's paper. We know. How about calling him Spike? Here, Spike. <laughs> oh, I like Prince. Here, Prince. Here, Prince. I think we should call him something intellectual like Byron. Come here, Byron. Come here. You'll answer to anything. You're stupid. I know. Why don't we call him Henry? He looks like Billy's boyfriend, Henry Brewster. Well, they both have the same soft brown eyes, and their hair comes down over their collars the same way. They're not a bit alike. No. Henry's got a lot more wolf in him. Oh. <laughs> Gee, Mom. Thanks for letting me keep him. Yes, but just don't get too attached to him. Anybody claims him, I don't want you making a fuss. I promise. And you got to take care of him from now on and water him and feed him. I will. And he can sleep in my room. He sleeps in the kitchen by the stove like a dog should. Yes, ma'am. And if he causes any trouble at all, claimed or unclaimed, out he goes. <laughs> Betty Joe? Bobby Joe? Up and dress, Mom. Betty Joe? Betty Joe? <laughs> <laughs> that dog was supposed to sleep in the kitchen. He was lonely. From now on, he sleeps in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, 
over your door. <laughs> Sleeping right in the doorway. Well, you, you said he should sleep in the kitchen. I meant at night. Oh. Did you hear what Mom said? From now on, just sleep in the kitchen at night. <laughs> Any special place you want him to sleep during the day? Any place at all, as long as it's outside. <laughs> Hell, I'm sleeping in my chair. Well, Mom said he could sleep anywhere outside. Not in my chair, he can't. I'm sorry. Get down. Down, boy. It won't happen again. We'll see that it don't. Miserable critter. Thinks he can sit in anybody's chair he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Knucklehead forgot his knuckle bone. Here, bury it. <laughs> your dog just did. I'm sorry. So am I. Somebody's going to have to do that wash over again, and it isn't going to be me. I'll be glad to do it. I figured you would. <laughs> now what? Mom, look what that darn dog did. He made me spill a whole bowl full of eggs. He left that greasy bone in my chair. He got dirt all over my clean wash. And ruined my party dress. And that's a pretty good record for one dog in one day. <laughs> well, he hasn't done anything to Billy Joe. <laughs> uh, Billy Joe, did you miss me while I was away this summer? A little. Oh? Uh, how is secretarial school? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Good. Uh, Pa's been talking about me uh, working in the store. Someday I might own it. Get down, Prince. Well, uh, well anyway, I was... Uh... Get down, Rex. Uh, uh, go away, Spike. You know, if I work in the store, I, I could be making... Pretty near, uh, it's hard to say, you know, with permission. Uh, well, anyway, it's... Let go! Billy Joe, call your dog! Uh, uh, let go! Uh, uh, Billy Joe, call, call your dog! Uh, uh, uh... Mom! 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 The dog's got a hold of Henry's arm and he won't let go! I'll get him. You'll stay right here. This is the first time that Henry ever sat in that swing with Billy Joe that I've been able to do my bookkeeping with perfect peace of mind. <laughs> Always look forward to your visits about this time of year, Mr. Pearson. Well, thanks, Mrs. Bradley. Oh, I told four of my salesmen to meet me here to go over our new sales campaign. Will you be able to put them up for uh, three or four days? Oh, sure. Uh, holy Kate, we're a little full up this time of year. Well, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate anything you could do, Mr. Carson. Well, seeing you're one of our regular customers, I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, let's have a look at the reservation. Oh, sure, Uncle Joe. Here, it's right back here. Now, well, let's see. Uh, four and six. Uh, we can shift them into three. <laughs> and five's checking out. <laughs> I think we can take care of you. Thanks very much, Mr. Carson. Yeah, uh, n number five is at the top of the stairs. Thanks. <laughs> Why do you pull this same stale routine on Mr. Pearson year after year? He might not want to stay if he thought we were starving for business. Well, aren't we? <laughs> All right. In the kitchen. Good night.
Charlie Floyd gave me for Christmas. The last good smelling stuff I could find. No, thanks, Uncle Joe. I don't think that would be much of an improvement. I'll never get to use this stuff up. Well, I got number five scrubbed up to where it's livable. He's almost bearable. Now get a rope and tie him up until Floyd and Charlie get here. They'll take him back to Hooterville. But if you don't... We made an agreement. If he caused any trouble, he was to go back. And I don't think there's any argument about him causing trouble. You know, it only made a lot of extra work, but he lost us one of our best customers, not to mention them four salesmen that were supposed to stay here. I'm sorry, boy. Well, you... you got to admit it's for the best. I read the ad, and it sounded just like one of our dogs. Well, uh... Take a look out back, Willie. He's tied up there. We'll take you home. Are you sure you ain't made a mistake, Willie? Yeah, I'm positive. But are you sure? Yeah, he was really one of our dogs. Well, I'm a man that holds to my agreements. Give him the dollar, Floyd. But <laughs> give him the dollar. Look, I can't take no money. But we made a deal. If you was to tell Betty Joe. Oh, he wasn't really our dog. Just a couple of months ago, he kind of wandered into our place. He never did get along with any of the other hounds. One thing for sure, Willie, he's got a good home. Yeah, but you know, there's one thing I ought to have told Miss Bradley about that dog. He just loves to chase skunks. <laughs> Okay, you can keep it. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Providing he lives up to all the rules and regulations. From now on, no more sleeping in the kitchen. He sleeps in your room. And he stays off my rocker. If he wants one, he can use one of the guest rockers. And no more chaperoning my boyfriends. Except the ones I tell him to. <laughs> and he learns to keep off my dresses. Unless he wipes his paws first. <laughs> well? Well, boy? up to you. You can see they don't like you. You know, Kate, sometimes I think you're too strict with these girls. <laughs> Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.